Today we're going to build a DIY pipe shelf. And this is going to consist of a couple of pieces of wood, uh, some pipes, and several pipe fittings that anyone can get it from their home store. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the build video. Here it is. So the first thing that I want to do is just cut down uh, the wood on my miter saw into a couple of pieces that fit the space that I have to work with which is about 30 inches. And so all I'm really doing to this, this is already rough sawn lumber, so I'm just gonna sand it real lightly. I don't wanna get rid of the rough sawn look that it has with the saw blade marks. I wanna keep all of that. With the pipes and the fittings, I just wanna clean them up and just get all of the uh, stickers, adhesive, maybe some of the, little, the black stuff that comes off on your hands. Um, and here I'm just going to wipe everything down with a, a wet rag or a wet t-shirt. Uh, acetone will take all of this off, but I found in this method that if I wiped it down pretty good, as you can see that a lot of that's coming off, uh, that this is all that really needs to happen. Now, a lot of these pipes, these smaller pipes, they require the same treatment, but a lot of the fittings don't need any cleaning hardly. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish all of that off. And then when I get done, I'm going to add a little bit of paste wax to the pipes themselves. Now, this is good when you are uh, making pipe clamps and that kind of thing. So the clamps slide easy, but this also, I found, kind of seals that uh, coating in place. So here I'm just demonstrating that this is a clean paper towel. And I wipe it, and you see that nothing hardly ever comes off. So this does work just with water and some paste wax. And so I found that it to be really useful. And speaking of, you can use the pipes that I'm using in this project for several different projects. For instance, uh, you can have uh, Lowe's or your home center uh, cut these pipes down to different sizes, add on the clamp ends, and you've got yourself a really nice set of pipe clamps. So that's one thing that you can do with these same pipes that I'm using for this shelf. And so that's a nice addition to any pipe color. Uh, clamp collection that uh, for anyone in, in a wood shop or workshop. Also, I've got a little area in my shop that I call my work center, my desk, and I'm using these pipes again. So I've got a couple of longer pipes and some flanges, which are called floor flanges, and they just screw to the surface area and you screw these pipes into place. And really that's all that it takes to create a couple of legs for maybe a desk or something. Uh, so that's another thing that you can use this for. You can even use it for, you know, furniture and tables and that sort of sort of thing too. But I took my design for the the shelf that we're working on today to Lowe's, and uh, as you can see, I've got all this stuff in the floor. But uh, one thing that these home centers provide, or at least Lowe's and I think Home Depot as well, is if you're using this pipe, here's a machine that they can cut the pipe and also thread the pipe ends for you right there in the store and they don't charge you any extra for that that's just a service that you can have done there in the store uh, to customize whatever you're working on and so they have a variety of things to you know to choose from there i'm using several several of these um, smaller pipes the 18 inch pipes which as you can see they're fairly inexpensive uh, i'm only be using two of those and several of the uh, fittings and I scratched my initial design and I sat down in the middle of the floor here at Lowe's and came up with a better design. 18 inch pipes here. And these are the four inch pipes and this is the three inch pipe. And so these aren't gonna be exposed a lot because the wood shelf is gonna sit right here. And so that'll be under the shelf and the other shelf will be here. This will line up with this, it's not a very good drawing, but that'll be here, that piece of wood will be here for the other shelf. And so this will be under it. So this won't see a lot. Now, this will be exposed, but we're not going to be storing towels and that kind of thing up here. This will be stuff that we don't use that often. And so this main shelf here will be used for towels and that kind of thing. So a lot of that is going to be under it. And so this is really going to be the only pipe. And that's why I wanted to make sure that this wasn't going to be rubbing any uh, coating off on anything. So it looks like we've accomplished that. So I've got all the parts laid out here, and the first thing I want to add is the elbow to each pipe. Now we've got to get this lower shelf assembly done. Uh, 
put on a piece of wood before we can start working on the upper assembly. So I'm just going through here, looking at my, my plan or my uh, design that I've got laid out and adding in each one or each piece as I go and trying to keep these things uh, fairly, both of these, to the same measurement because as I, you know, install a T or, you know, one of these smaller pipes, they're not going to be exact, but I need to get them as close as possible so everything will be even and have the same distance from the wall and, the, and so my shelves will be level and that kind of thing. So I'm taking the time as I go through here to measure and make adjustments as I go. These are the flanges that I'm going to be using to attach this whole shelf system to the wall. And so this really has to be the same distance on both sides. Otherwise, this shelf would be uh, not even, so to speak, or there would be a gap from the wall to the back of the shelf on one side and not the other. And these flanges that I'm measuring now are what will uh, secure the shelf in place. And so these really have to be the same uh, distance from the, the pipe and the T there. And so to get the hole drilled into the piece of wood, we've got to measure from the flange that is on the far left all the way over to about the center of the pipe, which is about seven and three eighths. And so that's where I'm going to make my mark on this piece of wood. And then I need to measure from the edge of the wood over. And all I really have to do here is just measure from the edge of the flange to the center of this, this pipe. And that'll give me my measurement, which is about an inch and a half. And so, uh, after I get that measurement, I can make my mark there. Uh, so here you see I'm just drilling these holes. I'm just using a Forstner bit uh, to do this, uh, which worked out perfect. And now I can go on to the finishing process. Now this is uh, some water-based polyacrylic, and so my kids got in on the action on this. Uh, so it's no fumes or anything, and so it's really, really, uh, really good. It's my go-to finish. And so now here I'm installing the lower shelf because I had to lower I had to install that lower shelf before I could actually start installing this upper shelf assembly uh, now what you see me doing here is adding in the other pieces uh, for the upper shelf and so this is basically the same thing the same setup as what's below I just don't have an elbow over on the end um, where you see the T Let's just see what we've got from the bottom of this flange to the top of that T. I'm about 13 sixteenths. And I'm pretty close there. I need to come down. Put that one just a little bit. So now, what we want to do is take and put these in here. And this really doesn't matter because once I have the shelf on, we can tighten this down as much as we need to. And I could have, I could have gone with a different size pipe here, but once I put this on, hopefully we'll see how this is going to look. But we want to go ahead and put the caps on. So now I can just flip the shelf over on its side and secure all of the flanges with screws. And that is all it's needed to secure all the shelves into place. And this project is complete. And so I'm really pleased with how this turned out. I really like the uh, rough saw and lumber that I use in this project. Um, it just gives it some character. And then all of the piping and everything just kind of gives it an industrial feel. And so it just really plays with how this came out. So if you really would like to build this for yourself, you can check the link down in the description and follow that over to our website and read the article where there's a lot more information uh, for this project and find out how you can get the shopping list for this project. And if you're not a subscriber, I encourage you to please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future videos. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya.